we will now move on to do the wheels. Okay, so if I just hide the other parts here so you can see the wheels in a bit more detail. So over here, you've got, all, you've got all the parts for the assembly. I'm just hiding them here by clicking on this little icon. Let's go, let's go back down to the last wheel, perhaps. No, nope, not that part. So the wheel consists of two parts. You once you learn how to do this, you can create much more interesting wheels than this. Okay, it's got a simple uh, tire thread here on the outside of the wheel, which isn't anything like a real tire. Obviously, this is just a toy, uh, which simulates what it looks like. It's got this inner, the inner part of the wheel, the alloy, if you like, with spokes. Um, it's got a twelve mil hole in the center. So what we're going to do is draw the shape, okay? So we only actually only need to draw one of these and then use a tool called a pattern tool, which patterns it around. So let's just go back again, as always, create a new part studio. Sketch, front, turn it around so you can see it. So central hole, as always, 12 mil. The outer part, so remember the tire is two parts. We're going to draw the inner part first and then the outer tire. Okay, so the wheel consists, sorry, the wheel consists of two parts, the tire and the inner wheel. Uh, I believe it's the outer part of the, the alloy part of the wheel, if you like, uh, is about 50. And then you need to give these parts a thickness. Yeah, so these bits have a thickness here. And here. And to do that, I'm actually going to use another tool, uh, the offset tool. It's quite an interesting tool to get used to working. So I'll click on that. I'll double click here. I'm going to enter uh, minus two. Yeah, and it appears on the other side. Like that. Yeah, so minus will, you've seen it appear on this side. I wanted it to go on the other side. So I typed in minus, so through the line, two millimeters from here. All right. If you want to change it, if it looks too thick, for example, you can go back and double click, just press escape, double click on that, and let's just try making it minus one. Uh, it looks a bit better. And again, for this one, offset, and, oh, do it again. I'll make it one. That's it. Just roll in on the roller ball so you can see what you're doing here. Sometimes the dimensions get in the way visually when you want to draw lines. So I'm just going to select them and delete them. I don't really need them anymore. So I know these are the right size. So use a line tool. I'm going to go from the center of the circle. Make sure you're on the center. Sometimes people make a mistake here and they're not drawing it exactly from the center. So scroll back. Bring it right to the top. That is, if we go back here, so we're drawing these spokes, but obviously the line you're drawing, you want that to be in the center. So I need two parallel lines either side of it. So again, this is why I showed you the offset tool. The offset tool is a very, very useful tool. Click on the offset, click on that line, Double click on the dimension and we'll make this, I think it's 0.5. Yep. Then do it again. I can drag it here as well, be nice to pull it this way. And make that 0.5. Okay. Then use the trim tool. I'm going to get rid of some of these lines down here. Don't need these anymore. I could get rid of that line and that line. On that line, I actually could get rid of this as well. Sometimes you have little bits overlapping like this, so click escape and just drag around it so it's selected and delete it. 
no longer need those points or those lines. Again, yeah, just attention to detail helps the, the way you work in drawing sketches. Uh, just trim tool again. I'll delete these ones, let's see. I'm not going to delete these yet. So I have two lines, which are now the thickness of that spoke exactly in the center, which is what we want. Now what you need to do is use the pattern tools. So I'm going to go up here. I've got linear pattern, circular pattern, and transform. We're just going to use the circular pattern for now. Click on the circular pattern. I'm going to click on here and that line. And you'll see that it automatically knows it's inside a circle, so it creates this circular pattern of those lines around the center. Um, so it's got three, go back here, it's five. So you need to find where it says three, double click, choose the five, and it'll automatically generate five spokes equally spaced through 360 degrees. Again, if I was in class now, I'd be asking you to work out what angle that is. 360 divided by five. Uh, obviously 72, but you don't actually need to know that anymore. You can just set it, it knows to divide it by five itself. And that's it. So just click, and you've now got that pattern. And now I'm going to use the trim tool again. Again, people wonder why I do this. You don't have to, you can just select each area when you want to extrude. I just think this just looks neater and it's just a better way of working, getting rid of your lines that you don't want anymore. Other people will tell you not to bother. And that's it. So accept the sketch. Um, make sure you're selecting the right area, not in here, out there. Right, so it selects that whole area in one go because I've deleted all these little lines. If I hadn't have deleted all those lines, I would have had to have went around and selected each area. So it makes it easier, I think. 20 mil, that was an extrusion of 20 mil for that part. All right. So to move on to the next part, you just need to remember the size of the outside, which was 50. So again, plus, actually let's just change the color of this while we're here before we move on. Down here, right click, edit appearance, and make it red. Back here, plus new part, we're gonna make the tar. So to make the tire, very simple again, just make an extrusion of like a cylindrical sort of shape. So we'll sketch. Center 50. And we'll make the outside of it say 60, so it's quite a slim sort of tire. Again, this is a very basic sort of way of doing this sort of pattern. Uh, if you go on the internet and look up tutorials for how you make tires there's probably quite a lot uh, for making proper looking tires this is just a basic way of showing you how to use different tools to create an interesting tire shape uh, so let's select or sorry accept that and extrude it to 20 so it's the same width as the inner part i've already shown you how to use fillets so we'll use a fillet there and here, oh, let's, let's just take that away and make sure we've got the right edge. You can see here, it tells you what you've uh, selected. You can, I mean, you can choose what radius that is, up to you. I don't want it that big. It's okay to me. Now, if you notice, we've got this, these slots, tar thread, if you like, the tar thread, sorry, around the outside of it, okay? So, what we shall do, do that, 
you have to create a sketch somewhere just on the outside of this shape and then cut down into it. Again, there's hundreds of different ways of doing this. Uh, I think this is the easiest way. Okay, so here, where it says plain, you go to here, I go down to the plain tool. Right. Um, what I want to do is select this plane. You'll see another one is created. I'm just going to drag it up here. It doesn't actually really matter. I'm just going to drag it up here. I'm going to drag it down so it's just sitting above the surface of this. Like that. Okay, it doesn't actually really matter as long as it's sitting somewhere on the outside. So it's a distance above the actual shape of this wheel. Click on a set. And now what I want to do is sketch on that new work plane I've created. So sketch, click on that. I want to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. Sometimes it's better when you've just done this, you select that plane to right click and view normal to sketch plane. Just to make sure you're getting the right plane to draw onto. Sometimes it turns in a funny way and you try to sketch and you can't see it. It's because you've moved it and you're looking at the wrong plane. So here, what I want to do is draw like a chevron shape. If you look at it from the top, it's like a chevron shape. So we draw it once and then again we use the pattern tool. So to do that, I'm going to click on a line tool. I'm going to draw, I need a line sort of going across. I need to find the center here somewhere. So I need to draw a line from there to there. But to find it exactly, it won't do it. Yeah, It won't find the other side of this exactly. All right, It doesn't recognize this edge because it's the edge on a different surface. So what I'm going to do is use a tool called Use Project. So I click on this. If I go to that edge and click on it, you will see it actually projects this edge onto this new work plane. Very useful tool. I'm going to go down here again. So let's just go back so we can see what I'm doing. Well then, I'll do the same over here. Don't actually need to because I've got a center here. But now I've got two lines here to here. And now I can simply draw a line from here to here. Okay. Then draw another line from the center of this line. Doesn't matter what length it is. Okay. I can now delete. No, 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 no. I can even delete these lines. I don't really need this central line. Okay, so I now know that's the center of this. Uh, and I'm going to make that a construction line. So select it, click on the construction tool up here. Then we'll draw a line out here. I don't want that to be a construction line. So just drag it back over here, click on the construction tool so it's a solid line. Go draw it out at an angle. Again, it doesn't actually matter what length it is. So you can draw it to here if you want to, I'm not really worried. Uh, I can set the angle of it using dimension. So again, before just select that line and move across to this line, click and drag when it's selected. And I'll set it to 45. And now I want a thin parallel line, or sorry, I want a parallel line a small distance, like one millimeter or so, away from this. So we shall use the offset tool for that. Click here. It's going the wrong way. I'm going to drag it that way. Double click on that dimension and make it one mil. Okay. Now I want the chevron shape, so that's one half, so we get it symmetrical. I just need to reflect these two lines across here. Before I do that, trim tool again, just trim it here. I can also close this from here to here. Now, the mirror tool. We're going to select the mirror line, which is this. Select the entities to be mirrored. 
Merd. And select the cost line. And you can see it's reflected it and created the chevron shape. And remember, this is just the slight distance across. Oh, sorry, the slight distance above the actual wheel or tire. Now, if you click on the sketch, you don't want it to go that far. I'm going to bring it back up. I'm going to zoom in. So I want to bring it down. So you can see where it's cutting down into. Again, as I said before, it's not a realistic tire. It'd be nothing like this. But for a, a child's toy, it's a solid piece of rubber material. And this is, looks similar. Okay, so you can set the depth here if you want to. It has to be removed. You're trying to remove that material. And accept it. Ah, why did I do that? Okay, another useful tool to know about if it's done it wrong. Over here, you have a record of everything you do. Right, so if you go, let me just deselect those ones, go back to that extrusion, the last extrusion you did, right click and you can go back into it, edit. The reason it went wrong is because it went the wrong way. When I click remove, it flipped the direction. So I need to bring it down this way again. And then to five, I think I said it was going to be. Let's just check. Should be fine. You now I see it's deleted or it's removed part of the material. And that's it. Now I want to use the pattern tool. So up here, you've got linear pattern. Click on the little drop down menu, you've got circular pattern. So here it says entities to pattern. All right. I'll click on that and I want to select this extrude. Oh yes. Over up here you'll see it says part pattern. I don't want to pattern the whole part. This is the whole part. Yeah, if I click on that, you'll see that's the whole part. I don't want that. I want a feature pattern. And then I click on the extrude two over here. And that should appear here. And you should see it selected. And the axis of pattern, as it's a circular pattern, you just simply select the edge of the circle. You see it will appear here and there. It's created four because here it says four. So I'm going to make a lot, obviously. So let's make it uh, 30. Click on the screen. And it simulates it pretty fast. And that's it. You can do more or less, up to you. Accept it. And that's it. Again, just right click, edit appearance, and we'll make these pretty dark. Yeah. And that is your outer, oh, sorry, that's your outer tar.